G'day guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, like you've probably seen from the thumbnail, I'm testing the MLM2 Pro with lights on versus lights off. This test is gonna be really interesting because a lot of people say, and even Rapsodo on their website say that you need light for the MLM2 Pro to work in an indoor environment. Now, what I personally feel and what I theorize with this unit and how I think this unit works is I believe, and this is not in any way factual, I haven't spoken to Rapsodo about this, this is my opinion of how I think this device works. I personally think that this unit uses the radar for ball speed, club speed, horizontal launch angle, and vertical launch angle. Those four metrics, I think it uses the radar for those metrics. For spin and spin axis, I believe it uses the infrared camera, the impact vision, and it uses the dots on the ball, on the Rapsodo balls or the Rapsodo ball dots to actually calculate the spin and spin axis. Therefore, there should be no requirement for light. Radar doesn't need light and the infrared camera is infrared, so it doesn't need light. So my personal theory is that you could hit and use this thing in complete darkness and it will pick up shots. The only thing that won't work in a really dimly lit room is the camera for your swing vision. If you're gonna use this thing outdoors, I believe the swing vision camera gives you your shot tracer, but in an indoor environment, we don't have that shot tracer. So for me, the only thing that that swing vision camera is doing is providing you a video of your swing. So my theory is that when I hit these seven irons, I'm gonna get the exact same results with all my lights on versus all my lights off. I'm not obviously gonna have a completely dark room because I am doing this in my garage and I've got a projector going. Let's put this theory to the test. What I will say is my cameras actually make it look a lot lighter in here than it actually is. And I will show that once I've done this through the actual swing vision camera. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna just be hitting seven irons. This is what my room is like with all of the lights on. I do have lights up the front, and then I also have lights over my hitting bay. I also have my spotlight on as well. Let me change camera so you can see that. Okay, and this is what the room looks like. So it is very well lit. We've got a lot of light coming through. We are at Palm Beach Country Club. I'm just gonna go down the first fairway here and leave myself uh, about a seven iron distance away. Okay, so that's about a seven iron distance. It should hit and roll out. I expect to carry this about 172 yards on a good solid strike. Okay, not the best strike, but it's fine, it'll play. 173 yards, so a bit longer than I expected. As you can see, the unit picked it up no problem and that was a good shot. I'll do a few more. Okay, nice strike, maybe a little right. Yeah, it was, a little blocky. But as you can see, it read this shot, no problems. Carry distance is what I expect to see and you've gotta be happy with that shot. Okay, so why do I care about this? Why does this matter? So if you look at my impact screen at the moment, you can see how washed out it looks. And this is why you should care about this in an indoor environment. I have literally the best, the world's best golf sim projector. I've got the BenQ LK936ST. This thing is insane. It's a 4K laser projector. I can't say any more about this projector. It is incredible. However, what you can see when you have all the lights on is it doesn't look amazing. I mean, a lot of other projectors you wouldn't even be able to see in this environment. My old Optimer I had, I wouldn't even be able to see the projected image in this environment. This thing is so good that I still can see it. And if I wanted to, I could use this as an environment. However, for me, I wanna get the room as dark as possible so then that thing looks amazing. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna turn all the lights off now and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, I mean, just look at that. I'm just gonna move out of the way so you guys can see this. And this camera does it no justice. I'll put up a picture from my phone actually, it might be able to do it some justice. So this is what the image looks like. I mean, it just looks absolutely incredible. There's a massive difference between the lights on versus off. Okay, so now I'm back to where you can see everything. I've turned all my lights off. I've even turned off my spotlight on the ground, so I don't even want that on. I'm gonna really push this MLM2 Pro now. This is as effectively as dark as I can get the room. If I was to come and do this at night, it would obviously be a little bit darker, but not much. The cameras do make it look a bit more light than it actually is in this environment. So if my theory is correct, this will still pick up the shot 
The only thing that'll be affected is the swing vision, which to be honest, I don't really use. Okay, we'll do the same seven iron, nice smooth swing. Hey, I definitely duffed that. It's definitely a lot harder to see the ball in this environment, and that's why I like the spotlight. However, what you'll see, we still had the shot register, everything worked. So this is why I say, get a spotlight because you want your room as dark as possible for the projector, but then you also wanna be able to see the ball. It's quite hard for me to see the ball at the moment. So obviously the strike is gonna be a bit dodgy, but in terms of the actual unit registering the shot, it doesn't have any issues. There's another one. Again, no issues. And I'll do the third and final shot. Oh, that was a better strike. Lovely, look at that. Beautiful ball flight. Hit the hole. Oh, I'll take that. Okay, so as you can see, no issues in effectively complete darkness. All right, so I'm gonna go through the shots now and show you exactly what I mean. If I jump into the first shot that I hit and go to the cameras, you can see the swing vision camera actually looks really good. You can see your swing, you can see what you need to work on, etc. Going to the impact vision, you can see the impact vision looks good. It was a bit of a heel strike, but everything looks good. It is using the IR lighting though. You can tell that from the image. Let's go to the second shot now because I do want to stress this point. Swing vision camera looks fantastic because it is really light in the room, no issues. Going to the impact vision again, we can see I am hitting a bit off center of the unit. However, no issues. It's using the infrared light and you can see it's perfectly fine. This is what I wanted to stress. I think the only thing that gets affected by this unit in darkness is the actual swing vision, which the unit doesn't use the swing vision to the best of my knowledge to calculate any of the metrics. I think it's only for the shot tracer outdoors. So let's go now to our first shot that we duffed because it was quite dark and you're gonna see that now. Go into the camera and you can see how dark it is in this room. It is very dark. So that was the swing vision. Obviously it didn't look good because it's complete darkness. Cameras need light unless they are IR cameras. Let's go to the impact vision and let's have a look at this. It literally looks the exact same as the first videos. Because it's using that IR light, it looks the exact same. We'll go to the second shot. Again, you can see very dark. We'll go to the impact vision. Again, it looks perfectly normal. It looks exactly like the first two swings. All of the data looks good. We'll go to the final shot, the one that I hit the best. Again, that looks bad. We'll head over to the impact vision. And the impact vision looks very clear. And the unit's getting all the data it needs off that golf ball using the infrared cameras. Okay, so wrapping all of that up, do you need light in your room for this thing to function? Personally, I don't think so. I think it's gonna capture the data, it's gonna give you all the metrics you need. However, if you want the actual swing vision to look good and to be able to see your swing, obviously the more light, the better. Now, this is still, I guess, a dimly lit room because it's not perfectly dark. So I haven't tested this in complete darkness with the projector off and everything. Potentially, that's where it's gonna have hiccups. But in terms of people stressing it, if they don't have enough light, I think this thing can operate quite good in a very, very dimly lit room. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did let me know, any comments or questions, let me know down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.